Brandon. I may just take you up on that. Just remember, women can get kind of funny before their wedding. You have to stay calm and try not to pay too much attention to what they say or do. Then everything will work out fine. I see you've become an expert on the subject. Mom's got married so many times, I can say the ceremony by heart. <laughs> Hi, what am I interrupting? Hey, Spokok. Yeah, uh, Brandon was just filling me in on some batting averages. I didn't know you were interested. He's got a lot to learn, but he's smart. Well, I better get back to Mom. See you soon. Yep. Take it easy, Brandon. Okay. Batting averages, huh? Fascinating subject. Maya Hooker. You were so young and so beautiful. I mean, you still are. You could have gotten jobs. I'm going to dash. I'll look at the elevator. I'll talk to you. Yeah, count on it. Okay. So, uh, any good news? <clears throat> um, there's some um, bad news. Uh, the bad news is, is that uh, Dr. Donnelly called, and she's on her way, and Dr. Clark called, and he canceled. What's the good news? Then I have the cake. And uh, if you like it, he can have one tier or ten tiers made up in a two days' notice. You try it first. Oh, it's great. Now you. Terrific. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, you know. Personalized wedding cakes. Bride and groom don't just eat the cake. They eat it off each other. Hey, filthy little boy. Yeah. I've never minded before. <gasps> it may be my last chance. Ooh. Oh, you I was just kidding, lady. Like, I'll hold him. I was, just, I was just kidding, Lisa. Really? Lisa, it was an accident. I wasn't trying to hit you. I Not bad. <laughs> I am so great. sorry. Let me help you. Please let me help you. We won't hold it against us in court. Yeah. Uh, Usually we throw rice. We just had a little accident here. Fraser, are you all right? Uh, yeah, a bit sticky, but <laughs> dandy. Thank you. Good. Well, I, I, I think we ought to get started, get this underway. So where's Dr. Clark? Well, um, Ethan, he called a short while ago. He had to cancel out. I, I tried to reach you, but it was too late. Well, then I think we ought to postpone the deposition. Well, it's not essential for him to be present. No, but it is essential for his attorney to be, and from the looks of things, you seem to be a little indisposed at the moment. Calm down, Ethan. Everything is under control. However, since we did agree that Dr. Clark should be present for Dr. Donnelly's deposition, maybe we ought to reschedule for next week. Well, we'll have to do it next week because we're, we're getting married this Friday. Uh, Heather, what do you say? Well, if I do it today, was there a chance that I'm going to have to come back again? Uh, it's possible you will. They might want to ask more questions. Then I would just as soon wait and get it over with all at once. Fine. I'll talk to Clark and we'll get in touch in a couple of days. Okay. I might I suggest that if Dr. Clark decides to cancel again, he give us a little bit more notice? Thank you. We'll make sure that it doesn't happen again. Good. Congratulations. Uh, I didn't realize it was this soon. Well, yeah. you had a preview of our wedding cake. <laughs> yes, I did, and it was very good. I suppose after this, the least we can do is invite you to the wedding. Oh. Yes, yeah. uh, you could bring your wife. No, uh, I'm not married. Oh, well, there'll be other singles there. In fact, um, Lisa, uh, you're not taking anybody, are you? Maybe the uh, maybe the two of you could uh, go together just for convenience sake. Mason, they haven't even been introduced. Oh well, Lisa Fraser, vice versa. <laughs> now it's the rest nice. is up to you. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Lisa. Uh, look, I don't know how you feel about this, but uh, you'd be doing me a big favor. I'm kind of new in town, and I just I don't know that many people. Fine, fine. <laughs> Right. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow then to make arrangements. Uh, I'll see you all soon. So Great. long, Fraser. Uh, don't worry about the cake. <laughs> don't ever do 
that to me again. I can come up with my own dance. Thank you very much. Of course, I know that. But she's right. We shouldn't have interfered. We're sorry. We're very sorry. It won't happen again. At least not so obviously next time. But to show our appreciation, we'd like you to take the rest of the day off. Oh, that's considerate, considering it's only after 5 o'clock already. Right, well, seize the moment and run with it. I'm running, I'm running. Thank you very, very much. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. It's all your fault, you know. Very silly behavior. Yeah, I know that, but actually I'm kind of glad it worked out this way. I wanted to get off early. <laughs> oh, do you have something planned? Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Sort of a, uh, a rehearsal dinner. Are you serious? Have I ever lied to you? About dinner, anyway? Did you know that was still on there? No. Ooh. I didn't think so. A rehearsal dinner. What are we rehearsing for? For the hundreds of mornings we're going to be waking up to each other. The thousands of meals we'll have sitting across from each other. The hundreds of thousands of hours spent in each other's company. But that's the easy part. The other part I'm having trouble with. What part? The most important part. The three little words. Oh, those three little words. I happen to be an erudite individual of above-average intelligence. Just say them. With a remarkable command of the English language. Work with me. All right. Not to mention a savage wit. Love. A gift for understatement. You. Right. What you just said, I'm in every word. I know. You're saving it for the ceremony. Yes. Darn, now you've gone and spoiled my surprise. The honeymoon. That too. Our deathbed. I can't think of a more appropriate place. Here in court. Mm -hmm. And you're about to find out one of the most important ingredients of a long-lasting relationship. Anticipation. That one in particular. It depends on how you interpret it. Everything is going so well. I hate when that happens. You would be worried if there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Why should this night be any different than any other? You're right, you're right. Just think the worst and then you'll be pleasantly surprised. That is, unless, of course, a disaster strikes. Well, you're a wealth of comfort. You're a wreck. See, this is where the manual says that the matron of honor is supposed to console the nervous bride to be with phrases like, Oh, don't be nervous. It's a, it's the most wonderful day of your life, and does, gee, he's a swell guy, ring a bell. All of the above, and then some. I, I'm just afraid that something's going to go wrong, because something always does go wrong, and I don't think I could take it if another something gets in the way of me marrying my name following me. Something is not going to happen. Tomorrow, you are going to get what you wanted for longer than anybody should have to wait for anything. It is going to be worth every second. This little girl is just a good sign that all the bad times are over. 